thought of the week to wrap up. And it has to do, again, we talk a lot about social media, talk about the phones, and in my head, and there's a book that I want to really do. I talked about it on the show. Uh, I'm reading a book right now, and I, it, I highly recommend this book, whether you, I'm listening to it on Audible, and I'm going to listen to it again, and I'm going to listen to it again, and I'm going to listen to it again. It is that good. It's called Limitless. And, and I'll give you the author so you get the exact. It's a brand new book. And it's by Jim Quick. And I'm going to actually reach out to Jim. I follow him on Instagram and try to get him on the podcast very as soon as I can because it's very relevant with everything going on. And uh, it essentially, me and Armando talk about it a bit on there. Uh, it's, in this day and age, this technology is absolutely amazing. And, and I give this example to Armando on this show that this is a lot like food. The right amount can be very healthy and beneficial for us, be very, very good for us connects us to people, allows us to laugh, allows us to uh, entertainment. Too much food, though, comes with very, very serious negative consequences and side effects. Same exact thing with this. We are all guinea pigs with this technology, guys. I've realized in being, I remember when these smartphones came around, really took off, when I was in WWE, I believe, with like my really first exposure, I, I want to say, I don't know, I remember, it was obvious, I had it in developmental, but I really feel like it was when it really on the road in WWE. And this stuff had been around for a bit, but I remember seeing the, the shift on how much I used my phone compared to I never really used the internet hardly at all outside of a few things. And... Uh, you know, being a wrestler and being on TV and you you do stuff and then you'd go and you see the feedback and you get these little hits of dopamine and that it, it, it's a very real thing. And not just wrestlers, everybody that uses this technology, but just speaking personally from my own point of view. And I found in having my business and, and there's different points where I've taken the, the technology off of my phone and used it here, used it there and taken breaks away from it. And I noticed how happy I was when I was away from it every time just exponentially much happier. But I missed it because there's parts of this that you really, I really like. So, and I'm reading this, listening to this book and it's, they, they're talking about so many things that I've discussed and that I've felt on information overload and being exposed to just too much. Um, getting very compulsive at checking these things at all times. And why, why and getting and working and being distracted and still going or being able to focus for only shorter periods of time before needing to go back to check this or getting an alert and feeling an urgent need to reply and not being able to just stay in moment in the moment and be calm and reply back at a later time. Because for whatever reason, these, these instruments of mass destruction, some say trigger these things in, in, in us, in the majority of people. And they have a lot of this, it, it is being reported and they're hearing the same thing over and over again. And we're getting some feedback as we are the guinea pigs for all of this. And I just thought to myself, how can I use the technology to benefit myself and get what I need out of it and not feel the need to check it every 10 minutes, every 20 minutes, every 30 minutes, every minute, whatever it is, not to be exposed to all the comments. I know what I'm putting out. I know my message. There, it's always pure intentions. It's always positive intentions. Always to try to get a laugh, to promote my business. Very clear reasons when how I use social media. Um, so why do I need to see the, I don't need the feedback because I already know who I am. I know what I am. I don't need to hear the good. I don't need to either hear the bad. And the good is great, but it, it triggers a dopamine response and it triggers you to look more, which is, exposes you to more bad. So I, I'm looking at this, I go, well, how can I control this situation? Because for me, I can only speak for me. And it was, well, I get up and I do my social media work in the morning. Why do I need it on my phone for the rest of the day if I just do everything I need to do in that period of time? Take it off the phone. That And I've done it before and I don't, need to bring, I don't feel the need to put it back on because I just don't do it. For whatever reason, that works for me. So I started doing that again and just putting out my content on all the platforms early in the day. And even if I, if I do want to post something later in the day, I'll literally do post it and take it right off. And I'm not 
going back and not sitting there scrolling or anything of that nature. And that's helped me tremendously. And I've noticed how much more um, slow, how much slower time is going for me. The days are going by much slower in a good way. Where you, you know, oftentimes we go, is time going faster? Time's not going faster. We're just becoming more distracted. We don't realize it, that we're eating up 15, 20 minutes here, 10 minutes there. And then we're doing what we need to do. But uh, that, that gap time is getting filled in with these. And some people more than others. And it's, it's causing a lot of other negative problems, negative consequences for people. It's causing depression. It's causing anger. It causes, we've talked about it, comparing our lives to billions of lives. You're never going to win. You can't, one can't compete with billions. One can't compete with any amount more than one. So for me, it's limiting the exposure. Get on, do my work, maybe look a little off. Done. That's my day on social media. Don't think about it the rest of the day. Go, go on living my life, doing the things I need to do to be productive, to be happy, happy, choosing to be happy and choosing not to read the good or the bad. Taking control of social media and not letting social media take control of me. And that's my thought of the week. Yo, thank you guys for watching Ryback TV. If you could check out my Shooting Blanks Wrestling Report every Monday on all podcast platforms, conversation with the big guy Ryback every Thursday morning on all podcast platforms, and Feed Me More Nutrition, my personal supplement line, available on feedmemore.com and Amazon. Save 10% with discount code YouTube10 and save stupid. Why couldn't you? Almost had it. I almost had the whole video done in one take. <sighs> New customers, you can save 20% with discount code NEWCUSTOMER on feedmemore.com. Get hungry, stay hungry, feed me more.